in the beginning of January, right around three and a half months ago, I took some seed starter trays and cut them to size and put them in a two and a half gallon aquarium and built a um, hood with a couple grow lights on top. And I used sheet metal aluminum, so it's nice and reflective. And I took some leaf pullings. And as you can see, this one here, you can see a tiny plant starting to form. You know, I would manually turn these on every day for about four or five hours or longer. And here you can see some nice ones. And there you can see some starting right, th oh, sorry, right there and right here. There's a little speck. Let me see if I can zoom in on that a little more. It's a little hard to see in the lighting, but uh, there you go. It's a little better. And then right here, you can see one moving on. This one. This one, it was a little too recessed. I added a little more moss and it was doing nicely, but then when I messed with it, it died. These are two of the parent cuttings. You know, they were a little bigger to begin with. And then here you can see some growing on the back side. And there again, so I have close to 100% success rate minus that one there, as you can see. Here's another one starting to form. And here I have a piece of cephalotus and some, um, yeah, right there is a Venus flytrap and, you know, growing. And then back to here, I took some Drosera capillaris, at least I think they're capillaris. I bought them locally from someone, I think from the farmer's market, anyway. And I just took some leaves and put them on top. Usually people say to take the leaves and put them in water. And as you can see, there are baby sundews starting to grow on them. And then here, um, next, I took a um, cephalotus leaf. I don't think it's doing much, but the Venus flytrap that was in there was starting to grow. A little cutting, and I'm not sure if that's a cephalotus or a sundew. I'll have to look into it further or what that is. And then here are a few more sundew leaves. So, um, as you can see, they grew. Then here I just had a little extra trays. I stuck some longleaf peat moss, but the, at first I put them in there so when I pour water it acts as a sponge and doesn't, or a buffer and doesn't splatter, but anyway, then here I have another tray with some live moss, and you can see a teeny weeny cephalotus, basically I ordered the cephalotus follicularis off eBay and it came in a little plant, so, you know, individual starter tray cut, cutting, so anyway, that's where I got the little pieces from. Anyway, so as you can see, I did a really good job with propagating Venus flytraps from cuttings or leaf pullings or whatever you want to call them. And it took about two and a half months, and some worked better than others, but they virtually all were successful. Even that one until I killed it. Anyway, I hope you found this uh, video uh, informative, and thanks for watching.